When it comes to farming, photographer Edwin Remsberg comes at it from a different angle than most. When we need something quick, we can just run out back and somewhere on the farm here we can find a picture. The sheep on Edwin's 20-acre farm in Harford County serve not only as his photography subjects, but also as a connection to his family's agricultural heritage. My family has farmed, we've been in this area for 300 years and on this road for 200 years. Um, so there's a bit of a family legacy that I feel a necessity to continue. But farming didn't always have such a hold on Edwin. After graduating from college, he wanted to get far away from his roots. I initially wanted to be a dashing, daring photojournalist traveling the world, you know, photographing, you know, war zones and, and chaos all over the globe. That was my dream, um, to get as far away from the farm as possible. But in his 30s, Edwin started seeing his family's legacies from a new perspective his grandfather's diaries from 1916 to 1982. And after his death, I decided I wanted to illustrate the, the passages from the diaries with photographs of the farm and kind of find the ghost of my grandfather. And it was this look back at the past that set in motion a plan for the future. After all, in life and photography, focus is essential. And so I began really focusing on, on where I came from and, and the work that was you know, most meaningful to me. I had a unique uh, ability to tell the story of what was happening on the farm. He took that story and ran with it. Edwin's photography company, Remsburg Inc., has photographed farming in all 50 states and 16 different countries. He takes photos for land-grant universities, agricultural departments, and an enormous library he's built online. And while his scope is broad, he likes to keep his work personal. A very valuable part of what I do is hold a mirror up for people so they can see just how cool they are and just how important what they do is. As he finds his frame, Edwin also keeps the non-farming public in mind. In here, just a little bit more. As fewer and fewer people actually participate in the activities of farming, that idea of you know capturing not just the the scene but the spirit of why it's being done and so forth is is really important. And he brings the spirit of farming to all aspects of his work, as studio manager Hannah Smith quickly learned. My first day working for him, I walked into the office and the first thing I had to do was bottle feed a newborn baby lamb. There's no typical day. Some involve helping out the sheep, others include taking shots from an airplane. Today's assignment may not be as grandiose, but it is significant. Belvedere Farm has been in Edwin's family since 1823. It's where Edwin recreated his grandfather's diary. And you could say it's also where he launched his photography career. The first photograph of note I ever took was of this car, my grandfather's 1938 Chevy. When I was a teenager, still in high school, I took a picture of it that ended up winning awards and so forth. People were so enthralled by it that it convinced me that, well, maybe I could do this. This is something I could do. Today, Edwin plans to capture the farm's newest incarnation as a cut flower operation run by his uncle, Bill Harlan. I said, but, then, but, the, but don't clip, just kind of look up from what you're doing right at me. Okay. Let me see here. While there may be great. no such thing as a bad angle at a blooming flower farm, Edwin is more focused on the beauty of his uncle's you? work. And I think that's, you know, often a story that's, that's, missed. That's not that there's a lot of beautiful pictures of farmland, but there's not many people taking beautiful pictures of farm work. And according to Bill, the hard work both in front of and behind the camera pays off. Yeah, I think the uh, the subjects really appreciate seeing what they do and they're proud of what they do.